The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are enjoying the school holidays with their children, and there's always one tradition they follow. Prince William and Kate usually travel to Scotland to spend time with the Queen at Balmoral Castle during her summer break. According to reports last year, the Cambridge spent the final week of the school holidays in August at the Royal Estate and were reunited with the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh after lockdown. With 50,000 acres to explore, there's always plenty for the royals to do at Balmoral. As well as enjoying walks, the Queen and her family have been known to enjoy barbecues, fishing, horse riding and cycling on the estate. From a young age, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis have joined their great-grandparents in Scotland. After Prince Philip passed away at the age of 99 in April, William and Kate shared some previously unseen photos of their children at Balmoral with the Queen and the Duke. One sweet photo showed the Cambridges with the monarch and her husband in 2015, when Princess Charlotte was just a few months old. The Queen was pictured smiling sweetly at her great-granddaughter. And in another portrait, the Queen and Prince Philip posed with seven of their great-grandchildren, in a snap that was taken by Kate at Balmoral in 2018, when Prince Louis and his cousin, Lena Tyndall, were babies. Back in May, William spoke of his personal memories of Scotland, saying that it held some of his happiest and saddest memories. As he gave an opening address at the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, he said, Scotland is a source of some of my happiest memories but also my saddest. I was in Balmoral when I was told that my mother had died. Still in shock, I found sanctuary in the service at Crathikirk that very morning and in the dark days of grief that followed I found comfort and solace in the Scottish outdoors. As a result, the connection I feel to Scotland will forever run deep. Alongside this painful memory is one of great joy because it was here in Scotland 20 years ago this year that I first met Catherine. Needless to say the town where you meet your future wife holds a very special place in your heart. George, Charlotte and Louis already know how dear Scotland is to both of us and they are starting to build their own happy memories here too.